This is a Magnavox Model 1 FM064 from 1966, AM FM radio, AC powered solid state. And here's the problem with it. Switch it on. And you get obviously a little AC hum, but very little audio is getting through. Now this is a solid state set and I've wanted one like this for a while that doesn't have the uh, power transformer that achieves it low DC voltage through a rectifier and uh, voltage divider so we'll get in and take a look at it. Here's a look inside the radio here's what we're dealing with PC board solid state construction it's interesting um, this capacitor here I believe uh, was replaced at some point 1976 date code here's a label on the inside of the front panel with the uh, model number chassis number and uh, 1166 I'm assuming that's a date code over here next to it are the power resistors that probably make up the voltage divider and so I don't have good documentation on this radio there isn't a SAMS available for this model I decided to take a look at the volume control actually it's t uh, volume and tone control and as you can see there's some uh, cracked connections on the uh, wipers and uh, I wasn't able to get a reading from the wiper of the the most the forward facing one there I was not able to get a, a resistance reading that changed across that so that may be the whole problem is the pot itself but first I'll try fixing those connections and see if it works money on cash value plans you need okay so I got the connections to the volume control uh, fixed and the hum level went way down and we now have audio on AM and FM uh, reasonably good performance on it but um, the tone control doesn't seem to be doing anything so I'm gonna take another look at that so here's another look at the underside of the PC board I was starting to know some interesting things about this radio if you look at the lead off of this disc capacitor here look how long that is it's quite lengthy and there's some other connections on the board here that um, I didn't find any shorts but um, they're bridged not where they shouldn't be but you can see there in the center that the, those are bridged just kind of overall a very uh, hurried looking soldering job on this also uh, they were starting to, in 1966, you've got Nichicon capacitors in this thing. So they were starting to um, source their parts globally. Um, but the speaker, of course, Magnavox starting as a speaker company, unless they were putting their name on someone else's speaker, uh, it's still branded Magnavox there. You can kind of see that on the, on the metal. So... Just some things I noticed about this radio. Also, there's a ground point here in the corner. It's kind of hard for me to get in focus. But uh, I had to touch that up too. It was this, uh, this plate that the uh, volume controls attached to. This metal plate was not very well soldered in to the PC board. All right, so I got the tone control fixed by again touching up the connections on the tone pot, soldering them again, and um, so this radio is working. There's a little bit of hum. One of the two sections in the paper cap is open, so we'll see about getting that uh, replaced. Thanks for watching.